Hey everyone, it's Jim Pugiamsis. I'm here uh, at uh, Victoria Park in Danforth and I had an amazing lunch at the Halbert House with an amazing guest and he is... Hey everybody, how you doing? Andy Ramadan! Uh, and uh, he's actually uh, an author who wrote, wrote an amazing book on the condominium market uh, many years ago. And just behind me, I'm going to take a quick look, uh, there are cranes. There's at least two cranes behind me here, probably on Main Street that will be built. So I want to bring Randy back in here and tell us, obviously, there's a lot of big changes made in the real estate industry in the last year or so. Uh, so want to give us a, just a quick uh, couple minute synopsis on what the market's all about and how people can go out there and make money. Hey, Jim. Thank you for the introduction. It's February 2018 and there's new mortgage rules cooling off the buyer pool. Uh, the market is showing signs of slowing down as a result. The condominium market is doing phenomenal in the Toronto market. The builders are pre-selling condominium pre-sale sites pretty well. A lot of inventory coming online, in other words, completions and condominium towers like that being yep. completed. Yep. So there's really good supply there. So how is how does a small investor make money today? Well, believe it or not, the GTA and detached and freehold market, prices are dropping and they're getting into reasonable so I think there's a good opportunity there. The older population, people that have lived in their homes for 30, 40 years, they're actually selling them uh, unrenovated. And I'm seeing stuff on MLS, unrenovated, available for sale. So the small investor, flipping, uh, flipping t detaches, getting involved in condo assignments, a great opportunity there. For the larger investor seeking uh, constant rate of returns, it's a really competitive fight looking for plazas and apartment buildings, but they're out there looking for streams of income. Like, so I'm getting questions, why is this happening in the in the market? A one minute briefer as to what's happening is we're at record breaking levels in the stock market right now. So money has been chased out of the real estate market to put it into the stock market. All the foreign money is going into the American stock exchanges, Canadian stock exchanges. What I see happening is I see that money coming coming back out when there's signs of decline in the market. So that could cause real estate prices to go back up. Um, and interest rates are on the rise, so it's making it a little bit more expensive to be able to buy. So it's a short brief on what's happening in the Toronto market where I see things going. If you want to have a more comprehensive discussion, please feel free to contact me. Yeah, you know, Randy, uh, you know, we've uh, done a lot of great things together. We've played the, the cash flow game here uh, the past four years. Uh, playing here in, in, in probably uh, in uh, late uh, March or early April, uh, but definitely a great resource uh, to bring out. And I'm going to be having uh, Randy on here uh, in about next month or so on my radio show where we're going to be diving din uh, div 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 a little deeper into that topic because I always get a lot of questions about that and I have some great resources. So this is Jim Pagiamsis, author of Get Connected in the 21st Century, online office charges that work. I want to see you on the other side of a great connection. I see you on the other side of a great deal. Awesome. Have an awesome day. Woo Bye.